Hi everybody, I'm back. I'm back with a tray full of pies. Now I was going to do mince pies today, a bit of a festive special, but I'll have to wait because events have sort of overtook me a bit. Um, I was talking to a guy at Morehouse's brewery, really nice bloke, and uh, he said I should try pies from this place, which is Milltown Pies. So I emailed this guy, and this morning he, he, he was here with a uh, most of the range of the pies he makes. I mean, he does make others, but these look fantastic. So uh, I'm not going to be comparing them to anyone else's. I'm just going to be tasting them and tell you what I think. I mean, just, just looking at them, they do look fantastic. So I'm looking forward to this. Um, I've got some beer to go with it. Now, I did want to be drinking more houses with this one because um, there is a connection there. I think when you go to the house brewery tour, these are the pies you serve. So it would have been a good uh, pairing. But unfortunately, when I went to Tesco, they only had two varieties of Morehouse's Ale in. So I went to Sainsbury's and they didn't have any. Can you believe it? They're about a mile from a fantastic brewery and they don't stock their beer. What are you thinking, Sainsbury's? Come on. So anyway, I've gone for some IPAs today um, to help help with the pies. Because I'll need some help. I'm, I, obviously, I'm not going to eat all these. I'm not a competitive eater. I just like food. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll cut some of it up and... Uh, I'll come back to you and we'll see what we've got. I'll go through the flavours and um, yeah, cool. Speak to you in a little bit. Bye. Right, the first one is peppered steak. Let's see what we've got. Chunks looks like braised steak. Mm. That's nice. That is nice. That's a um, proper braised steak like the mum used to make. I'm tempted just to eat that. But I can't. I've got to control myself. Yeah, peppered steak. Chicken and mushroom. God, that's heavy. <laughs> A couple of chickens in there, I reckon. Um, I used to love these, but chippy, but I went off them a bit. Let's see if this is going to reignite my, um, my liking for oh. chicken and mushroom pies. Oh, again, you can see, you can see four mushrooms in there and big chunks of chicken breast. I suppose it's one of the ones that chip you just like chicken and mushroom soup, just a bit thicker, weren't they? Grandma used to make um, turkey and mushroom pie for Boxing Day. That was fantastic. That's very, very good. Excuse me. What's next? Cheese and onion. Right, as you know, I'm a bit of an expert on cheese and onion pies. I did um, a vlog on them. Now what I found, all the local, and not so local, cheese and onion pies, they use cheddar cheese. And I'm a big fan of cheddar cheese. I think it's the king of all cheeses, it's ace. And it's British. And they like cheddar, the place, it's a lovely place. But we're in Lancashire, so you'd think maybe someone had used Lancashire cheese. Um, I mean, there's a chance one of them did, because he was a bit secretive about his cheeses. This is tasty Lancashire cheese in this cheese and onion pie. So, Again, not comparing. Oh, let's see what we've got here. 
I know a few of you mentioned um, you, don't, you don't know how I manage with the cold cheese and onion pies, but I do like pies cold, and it'd be difficult to keep them all warm with with some of that. God, that's a big chunk of cheese. God. Sometimes I think it's wrapped cheese in pastry. That is nice. It's a bit sharper. You know that? Lancashire like cheese has got a bit of a sharp taste to it. Very nice, that. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. Hey, so far so good. I'll tell you what I've got to come. So you don't switch off. Beef bourguignon, if I'm saying that right, with two G's. Steak and potato. Not meat and potato, steak and potato. I mean, some bakers don't even, or not, aren't even allowed to say meat and potato. They've got to say potato and meat. These guys are putting steak up front. That's looking forward to that. Chicken, ham and leek. The nicest pie I've ever eaten in my life was chicken, leek and ham hock in Little Pub in Wales. So I hope, hope that's good. Minced onion, another staple, but hopefully they've done it very well. And steak and ale, fantastic. You know when you get a multi-bag of crisps from the shops and they always try and sneak some ready salted in there to get rid of them? There's none of that going on here. All these pies are absolutely brilliant. It's not like sneaked in the equivalent of a ready salted pack of crisps. They're all proper pies. I'll have to find out if I can freeze some of these because I don't want them going off, but I don't know how quickly I can eat them. Where am I? Steak and potato. Let's get it there. God, that's heavy. They're actually not cold because they were warm when he delivered them. So they're, you know, just a bit, bit more the room temperature. Now what I like when I do the meat and potato round, I like a, a nice dent. Oh, look at that. It wasn't just sloppy and was it? You could see the potatoes, you could see there was meat. I like it like this. Dropped a bit. Mm. Let's have a look at that. Bits of steak in there, bits of potato. Oh, that is gorgeous, that. While I'm trying these, if you are local to me, these are made, he's got a unit over in Nelson, but he's got an outlet on Cold Road called The Ark to do catering the sandwiches and all that type of thing. But that's his that's sort of dedicated outlet where you can get most of the range, um, but a few other places. But I think you can get them online, have a look. Um, yeah, the, um, Milltown, so, sorry, Milltown Pies, well worth a look. Right. Sorry, I forgot to mention. Old Empire IPA by Marston's, very nice. Um, 5.7, so a bit more than a session ale, but you know, it's, it's nice and refreshing at lunchtime. <coughs> right, I'm gonna take a, a quick break because I've basically had a full pie there. It's about a quarter from them, so four of them. I'll be back in a tick. This is clicker worked. Right, back again. Well, where was I? Where was I? Chicken, ham and leek. Yeah, I was just saying the best, the best I ever had was chicken, ham and leek. 
somewhere in Wales, the middle of nowhere, lovely little pub. We were the only people in there when they ordered it. The, the, the lady said, um, oh, it could take up to half an hour. And we're the only people in the pub. I said, oh, why, why? And she cooked some all fresh. I thought, well, it's got to be worth waiting for. And it was, it was fantastic. This knife isn't very sharp. It's more of a blunt instrument. shortage of filling is there? I think it tastes as good as it looks. Absolutely spot on that. Well, I'm doing it, my mind's thinking, which one should I have for tea? That's the that's, uh, front runner for tea. Right, um, proper job. Cornish IPA. It's very nice. I've got a friend Mike in Cornwall, hi Mike. He's got um, a shop of King Port's Wines and Spirits. I uh, hope everything's going well during lockdown. He had a kid during lockdown, so his, his little baby didn't get to meet any of his grandparents or anything for ages, if indeed he has met him yet. So I hope everything's all right down there, Mike. I'll have to make a trip at some point. Could do a live broadcast, imported spirits and wines. My PA's in. Right. Oh, beef bourguignon. This sounds posh, doesn't it? God, that's heavy. Could you use that as a weapon? You could end that. That could be an Olympic sport, <laughs> that. See how it's per the perfect weight and size for throwing. But throw him this way. Oh, yeah. God. Beef bourguignon. Is that the red wine? How do I make a beef burger? You know? I should have looked. I should have looked that up first, shouldn't I? Really, so I know exactly what I'm eating. I'm sure, it's like beef and mushrooms, and I think there's wine involved. Oh, how rich does that look? Look at that. That's the light I'm using for this. It's quite a bright light, so um, it might be making these look a bit paler than they actually are. But that's dark. Dark like my heart. I don't know I said that. Sorry. Mm. That's nice. It's not my favourite out of the bunch, actually. I thought it would be, just because beef burgundy on sounds really posh, doesn't it? It is very nice. Um, very, very nice. I couldn't pick between these pies if I had to pick one. Apart, apart from the chicken, leek and ham, I would pick that one. But the rest are all just gorgeous. This is why you need to shop local. You don't get this in the supermarket. The, the stuff in the supermarket, it's all a numbers game. They make that many of them. Stock the shelves of them, people are going to buy them. These guys, they can only succeed if the stuff is good. It's as simple as that. Because if, if, I, you know, if 10 people don't like their food, then that's, that's a significant part of their market. You know, I bet... The Holland's and the big pie makers. I bet you get thousands of complaints a month. And it doesn't even put a dint in the figures. These guys sink or swim on what they make. 
just just try the local stuff and when i say local wherever you are try local stuff i mean you might, you might not be able to get something where you live but rather than go to a supermarket go online and find someone small that's local somewhere else if you know what i mean so about this artisan type stuff you know they get their hands they, they do it themselves it's well worth it steak and ale you can't go wrong with steak and ale Atlantic Pale Ale Tropical and refreshing I don't like the sound of tropical to be honest Oh it's just from Cornwall as well Need a better bottle opener I could review bottle openers, semi bottle openers Steak and Ale, I like steak and ale pie Everybody likes steak and ale pie Apart from vegetarians, and we don't trust vegetarians. <laughs> and then vegan sausage rolls are tried. They were, the, the sad thing is, the Greg's vegan sausage roll was better than the Greg's sausage sausage roll. This looks good. Excuse me. Both of them. Mm. Yeah, that's a really nice pie that. Wonder what Ailey uses. I bet it's more houses. It'll say on his website. What's that one then? I read out all the flavours, which flavour haven't I tried? Come on. No, three seconds, five seconds, now I'm gonna tell you. Five, four, three, two, one. I can remember. Mince and onion, isn't it? Mince and onion. Chip shop staple for years. But done well. You can tell pies that are made by hand because they're all a bit irregular as well. You know, all the scalloping and the holes in them. A lot of bakers, depending on what the pie is, they'll put a different pattern on top. So they know looking at them which is which so they don't get mixed up. It's like hieroglyphics for bakers. Hieroglyphics. Copyright in that. Minced beef and onion. It's actually got no right to taste as good as it does. It's absolutely delicious. I was a bit miffed that I left that one to last, just by chance, because I wanted to end on a high. Oh no, I've, I've, I'm left with the ready salted crisps. No. Not with the Milltown guys. That is fantastic. Right, I'm sorry if I've prattled on a bit, but well, it's locked down on the board. I've got nothing much better to do than eat pies, drink lager. Well, it's either that or the washing up, and as you can see, I've not done the washing up for a while, I'm drinking out of jam jars. Right, thanks for watching. Keep it local, and let's see if the clicker works.
Come.